you know Robichon has been to Japan 50, uh, not 50 years, it's not that old, but uh, 30 years. And he said, uh, the best chef in the world, because of his creativity, because of his vision, and because of the mastery of the craftsmanship and the understanding of the product, and ultimately the experience, is Massa. Whoa! So, <laughs> When you sit in the cockpit, when you sit there at, at, the, bar, at, at, at the sushi bar at the in, in restaurant Masa, you know with absolute certainty that at the very least, the very least, no one on the planet is eating better than you at that precise moment. No. One. Thank you. Um, I have been always curious with, um, when I come to, to, to you and, and you enjoy so much uh, French wine um, with us. <laughs> and uh, I thought when you eat sushi or you eat Japanese food, you're supposed to drink tea or sake. Why do you enjoy so much the, the pairing of wine and Japanese food, because you, you, you are very unique in that sense. You have a, a very nice wine list. Well, today people are enjoying, you know, separately wine. Some people drink Bordeaux, right? you know. <laughs> but I'm fine to me. The thing is, if it goes with sushi, sashimi, my dish, of course it's sake, champagne, but Sansir, one of my yes. <laughs> good friends, made beautiful stuff. Sansir works very well. Kind of acidity helps Japanese food, especially. I agree with that. I do think wine would be shared with the customer in the like you know, wine sometimes. I'm very much okay to me. So just the thing is, separately enjoying wine, smell, and color, and food is food, separately. But the thing is, Tanning, tanning, which is tea has a tanning, wine has tanning, that kills all the fishiness. Yeah. That's why all days the Japanese only eat sushi and green tea, right? The green tea has a caffeine, tanning, that kills all the fishiness. So after that, I was told that I learned that from my old, old boss told me that in Tokyo. People are kind of sushi of the fact the fast food, drink tea and they eat, and they wash a hand in the green tea, in the cup. Yeah. Then drink and finish. Pay money and go. That kind of stuff. That's why so tanning is still, you know, working for sushi too. But not that bottle of stone. In your cooking, you, you use a lot of um, Western ingredients. Not, Japan, not necessarily just of course, of course. Yeah. Um, you are an anomaly in a sense because very often when you go to a Japanese restaurant, there's no uh, olive oil or, 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 on the sushi or in the basic. Um, did you discover that in America or already in Japan you wanted to? No, especially you can come to here. When you get to US, yes. Yeah. By taste or to make your clients happy? No, the thing is, basically just whatever you use ingredients, olive oil, foie gras, uh, lemon steel, whatever, the oil from the oil. White, white truffle for me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the thing is, how you can bring into the Japanese cuisine, this is the most important thing, you know, right? That's why I did that when I went to I did the first time, you know, one of my friends brings me a, a broth here, beautiful mac fish liver, fresh one. And it must have, I brought this real fresh one, what, what, what are you trying to do? I thin slice it, they make shot show. Good torch in the boat. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah, for that, very hard to get the ingredients. Then what's the next is for grub, right? So for grub, I thin slice the same way and shot the show fixed. Really good. These are things so any kind of ingredients bring into present to Japanese style. This is a way what I'd like to do, challenge.
Umami. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, that's a big argument, right? Umami is a flavor. Is it a sensation? Is it an ongoing argument? I, I like. Uh, I like your answer. I love that. Uh, I'm sorry, Masa, but I'm more confused than ever. Because you said for umami, if I find it, I cannot read it because of my glasses. Uh, but you say it, it's the essence. Characters. Huh? Characters. So, <laughs> I'm, bit, I'm very confused. We have this debate about umami together, right, Dr. and alcohol, very often. Is it a flavor? Is it a sensation? Um, ultimately, I, I thought it was a sensation, it's not necessarily a flavor, that makes you, um, that motivates your glands in the back of the, of the throat and makes you salivate and at least a little bit of connection with uh, earth, like earthy sensation. But you say uh, about Umami that it's the essence of the universe. Uh, it's, it's the essence bigger than the universe. It's a link to history. So I'm like, what, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the literal translation of Umami is, I will suck your cock for a bite of that cheese food. <laughs> <laughs> Today, a lot of people thinking you know, umami is uh, amino acid, right? Kind of amino acids has an ingredient, but umami is not like that. Not only that, you know, umami is something bitter that I eat in the film, right? Yes. Bitter vegetable, a bitter uh, squash, bitter or something, even that romaine lettuce, tomato, that oh, near close to the heart is very bitter, some bitter, right? This is umami too, you know? Umami is not only taste good. Bitter, bitterness, even like a human. Every human has a different character, right? But this is a character that's very unique. This is a wonderful of umami too. I mean, pure umami is actually hot, though. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's that's cheap. a concentrate of the uh, acid, right? Amino right. uh, I mean acid. Yes. Breast milk, butter, yeah. uh, these, these are loaded with natural uh, MSG. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we like this, we crave it, we need it, we, we, we want it. It's, we're just sort of beginning yeah. to define it. Yeah, yeah. recently I had a, some lesson you know, egg and beef. They serve, I taste it, this makes this a different word. Tastes all the same to me, and ended up the dinner. I found out this you know, all they use uh, the, the kind of amino acid, which is MSV, which is MSV cover up all the umami of the meat. But so when people don't know, chunk of meat, eat oh tasty, really good, but not like that. So they hide in original flavor taste. That's why you can understand that this is real beef or real fish or whatever vegetable. They hide up. It tastes good when you buy it. Oh, it tastes good, but this is not right. This is not right. You know? Gotta be, gotta be, when you're eating it aged, you know, they aged, which is adding more concentrated, more umami, right? So I decided we would be using in the street. I don't like that. So my restaurant, no MSC at all. I love it. <laughs> I don't know the cereal at the Wait, yeah, sorry. So this is umami, is kind of bitterness, whatever ingredient has it. So we have to deal with that. This is a good our job, right? This character, we have to use, go make better way. You know? The people here, the bitter, ooh, bitter, not like that. So. Bitter plus something else, and then create, create, build up something, taste better. You know? That's why ingredients, springtime, you know, film, vegetable, bitter yeah. favorite, yeah, it's good, right? Yeah, simply olive oil covered, spring of salt, crispy grill. You know? So when you bite it, olive oil helps with a little bit of richness, smooth, and flavor, and bitterness towards the end, and seasoning, you know, simple cooking. That's what I think. Yeah, so I'm just thinking about that vegetable when you threw on the grill. Yeah, that vegetable. 
simply nothing, you know, just naked, right? Just uh, only bitter, but only olive oil, a little drip it, salt, charcoal, grill, yeast. That's what one has to do. Uh, um, before I open to the question, uh, why is it so important to, to eat sushi right away? So you make the sushi, you give it to the person. Yeah, yeah. Well, why is it so important it's to eat film. Yes. immediately? The thing is, the, the key is the spirit, the is the spirit, which is momentum. It's very good food. In the kitchen, we've done all the way coming through. <coughs> <and through. laughs> it, it takes long, it takes long, but especially sushi long. The umami flavor and spirit, which is, I say all the time, the momentum. Gotta bring right away, quickly, bring all the way, right away in the kitchen, yard sometimes, you know. Staying on the hot, hot heat, like if this 30 seconds keep dying flavor, you know, as soon as finished, done, bring the table. Sushi, just at least as the best sushi is. Not takes a long time to one piece. Dead already. Quickly. That's my sushi, you know, right? My sushi only three times. How long do I have? How long, if you had your choice? Mm -hmm. How long, how quickly should someone, ideally, to have it at its peak, how quickly should they do? You put a piece of meat here, you go down, how fast? Right away. Come on here, I'm going to eat like that. <laughs> Don't talk to you to the self. No. <laughs> well, I had a discussion once, and I was trying to read it back, where you were showing me that the rice gets compressed with the weight of the fish. The more you weigh, like if you put the, 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 the sushi here, and I'm talking to my friend, the weight of the fish is compressing the rice slowly. It's not the same. You told me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it was late at night, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's true. Most important, yet these are nuts. 